A business in Norman is gearing up to produce a tiny product that will make enormous changes. ONR's Robert Birch reports nanotechnology development in Oklahoma has the potential to bring jobs and hundreds of billions of dollars to the state. Carbon nanotubes look like a simple black powder, but it may as well be gold because it has almost limitless applications. It can be used in everything from advanced medical devices to flexible, lightweight body armor for the military. Southwest Nanotechnologies in Norman has received a $500,000 grant to develop nano-enhanced materials for lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles. The carbon that's used today in lithium ion batteries is going to shift from carbon black carbon to carbon nanotube carbon. And we have reason to believe that the preferred carbon nanotube carbon is going to be our carbon nanotube carbon. Several companies all over the world produce carbon nanotubes. Arthur says the premium quality of his product has caught the eye of major manufacturers. They're very long compared to the diameter, so they form that spaghetti type of structure inside the battery. Um, and they're very pure, so they won't poison the battery. Um, and uh, we're expecting that our carbon is going to be preferred. Even with superior nanotubes, lithium ion batteries will need more development before they hit the road. I think that's about three years. Three years before you'll see a battery technology that's good enough to really start um, um, you know, hitting enough of that table so that more of us would choose to buy an electric vehicle versus a hybrid electric vehicle versus a combustion engine vehicle. The company is already producing carbon nanotube ink that will print electronic circuit boards using a standard commercial printing press. The first application will be to print LED light panels that will use one-third the amount of power of a fluorescent light. The lighting product is the first product that's going to hit the market using our tubes, our inks. Um, and then there will be other applications that follow, like printed solar panels, printed RFID tags, printed uh, uh, biomedical sensors, um, printed touchscreen uh, devices. Arthur says his company will be hiring 20 to 30 people in the next two years. Skilled, high-paying jobs that may be the first wave in an industry that could bring billions to Oklahoma. In Norman, for ONR, I'm Robert Birch.